here with BTCC legend Jason Plato. Legend. I'm, I haven't got any cash on me, I'm afraid. Oh, you'll give me the 20 later then. <laughs> so, Jason, the season's been going really well for you. We've now done the first half. You've got four wins so far this season, and after Croft, you've managed to achieve 200 podiums in your career. Was it 200 at Croft? So much for my team, I should have had cake and stuff. Thanks, lads. Thanks. Not even a croissant, nothing. 200's quite cool, isn't it? But uh, there's still lots more to come, so it's just work in progress, isn't it? Now we're here at Snetterton, it's a very sunny uh, day here at Snetterton. Uh, now this is a track you've gone very well round, uh, for instance last year you got uh, two wins around here, so this should be a track you're very confident to go around. Yeah, I think, I think um, certainly free practice has shown that um, you know, our car works well, well around here. I think, um, I think I've got a realistic chance of pole if I'm, if I'm honest. You know, the Hondas are mysterious by, by, by their absence, certainly in free practice. I think they're going to come good, come quarter qualifying. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fired up to try and get some more wins this weekend. Now, this is, this is a track uh, with a lot of hairpins and uh, a lot of like accelerating and braking, which will favour the rear-wheel drive cars. Now, the, the BMWs have been very quick recently, um, so if you are to get pole, uh, like you say, you, you've got a good chance of doing so, it will be hard to keep them uh, behind you. Well, it will, but I think if you look at free practice too, you know, I think, I mean, that could be the grid, you know, that, start, you know, it's quite a lot, Aaron's going well, Colin's going well, Andy Jordan's going well, you know, we're not doing too badly, so I think, I think, um, I think there's a, a slight chance Andy Prio could be back in fifth or fourth. I'm hoping that's the case because if he gets a good start, if he's second on the grid, he'll be in the lead. Uh, but as we saw last year with Colin, you know, it is possible to beat them right around here. So um, I don't think it's a, as real or dry circuit as some of the, you know, like, like Croft or Knock Hill. But they're going to be strong, for sure. And finally, uh, Colin. Turkington last year was uh, with eBay and you had a, an amazing battle with him towards the end of the season. Uh, now you're both still in the championship a hunt. Are you uh, looking forward to having the same battle with him and many of us towards the end of the season? Yeah, I think it's going to be very competitive from here on in. I think, you know, if we look at all the circuits left, including this one, you know, we've probably only got Knock Hill, which we could consider... Um, as our Achilles heel, but I think this car is um, is better than the MG in terms of the way the front end works. So I don't think we struggled in the MG right now. I don't think we'll struggle as much with this car. And who knows? You know, if we get there and we get the thing dialed in, it could. You know, we're, ne we're never going to beat the BMW right around there. But there's no reason why we can't be the you know the best front wheel drive ch chassis. Um, so I think you know the the running for the rest of the year will between will be between uh, myself, Colin, two Hondas, possibly Jordan. Okay, thank you very much for your time, Jason, and very good luck for qualifying later today. You're welcome.